Well, I know men, many of you are going to be asleep, but when you get up, when, whenever you guys wake up here, I know it sound, sounds kind of creepy, we got a nice little episode of NASCAR The Game Inside Line for you. Hello, and welcome back to race 24 of NASCAR The Game Inside Line. There are three races left on the schedule before the chase. Tonight, we are going to go to Bristol. We had a caution-free, nearly perfect race here at, Mich at Michigan right up until the end. There's a picture from the last race, if you guys didn't catch it, where Marcus Ambrose flipped in a big wreck on the last lap. Hopefully, we won't see that tonight. Emphasis on the term, hopefully. 50 laps. Fifty laps, ten percent, tire wear temp one, flag rules, cautions, damage and failures on toll, just like always. Before you begin caution, let's be sure the car is set up how you want. Get out and run two laps. And let's skip to qualifying. So let's go qualify Bristol Motor Speedway. Now let's make our lap around Bristol Motor Speedway. Concrete team that for this race in 2012 was actually repaved to look like the old Bristol. It still produced a lot of fireworks. Wow. With quick blistering laps here at Bristol. Bristol's quick blistering laps are still a thing as we come out from the floor. And what's funny in this practice session at Bristol, there's almost always a bunch of drunk drivers in that session. Bristol Night Race. Man, it is one of the best traditions in all of motorsports. Even every late August night, when this place, when the lights turn on at Bristol, sparks in the demons come out to play. Every from every chunk, the sparks rubbing off the cars. Close racing, bumping and grinding. That is what many people expect when we come to the Bristol Night Race. Will we see more of that tonight? Let's go. It's the wildest night in stock car racing. Welcome to Bristol Motor Speedway and the Irwin Tools Night Race. There are lots of good places to play on. I start on the pole. Kyle Busch will start second. Kevin Harvick will start third. Matt Kenseth will start fourth. There's a random helicopter landing at this track. This is an action track, Daryl. Ready to go? 
Look, there's a helicopter. What was a helicopter? Wonder if they're um. Wonder if it's the Benghazi helicopter. Wonder if it's the Benghazi helicopter, Miss Hillary. Case fires off. Coming into the restart zone. Green flag at Bristol. Escapes a little over a second briefly over uh, Bush and Harvick. But, and as Gordon leads out the lap number one, Harvick is in second. I'm pretty sure the top side and the bottom side are going to be important, just like Bristol Racing used to be. With the third, with Jeff Gordon getting his the third lap, leading the third lap and getting another fast lap. He finished in the same position, identical to his car number last week at Bristol. Last week at Michigan, I'm sorry. Could we see him finally put, put the demons of the past two weeks behind him where he finished 7th at the Glen due to BS time penalties? Well, I finished 7th at the Glen due to stupid-ass time penalties. Finished 24th at Michigan due to a big wreck. Can I put the demons behind, behind me tonight? Look at that. Almost six seconds separates me and Earnhardt Jr. And I have already caught the backhand of this field, the factory for this field. There's a McDowell. Oh, okay, he's going to slow up abruptly. Get it. Oh wow! Is, is the top? Did that lane just really have to check up? I. Wow. And around goes Nemechek. Caution is out. And he went. Looks like it's going to be a soon. Nope. He ended up collecting Josh Wise and Scott Speed. Oh, and. Uh, and Tasser as well. Seven laps before our first caution. We're going to restart on the outside lane. Junior is going to be on our inside. Harvick and Keselowski in row two. Cobb with Clint Boyer row three. Jeff Burton and Matt Kendrick row four. Tony Stewart and Jimmy Johnson row five. Let's go. Coming out to turn four into the Start finish line. Three flag in the air. 42 laps to go. Forty-two laps left. Junior to the outside lane. There's Harvick down the inside. He has a win here at Bristol, and that was back in 2005. Oh, wow. Look at that. Good junior fight for the lead out of four. Oh, contact. Leaning on each other, going into one. Four, oh, four wide for a moment. For a moment, we were four wide. Going into the corner. Harder takes the lead. On board the 24 as the second caution is out. Just the gap in the wall looks like it was a single car wreck. This he hit. But he kept going. I don't know why in this game the AI hits the wall and stops, which is usually they slow down because they freak out. But re that didn't have to warrant a caution. Second caution is out here at Bristol. Down to the restart zone. Three flag into the air. Boy, Junior got a big run on the outside. Can't couldn't quite clear him. Kyle Bush, Mr. Bristol. Up in third, up to take second.
Bush to the lead. Bush to the lead. Junior to second. Oh, and there goes Junior up the racetrack. Is out. Ouch. Junior, around he went. And got flipped by Burton. Kyle Bush and Jeff Bull Gordon will be on the front. Me and Kyle Bush on the front row. Bush is to my ins to my inside. Down to the research zone. Green flag back into the air. Skeets try to get right in behind the behind Kyle Bush. Kyle Bush is there, right on the outside lane. He is on the inside. Then hopefully can we get to this halfway stretch. Hopefully without another caution. Whoa, we saved it. Truex to the point four wide for a moment. Now, and, oh, by Truex, I mean Jeff Burton. Burton is the new leader here at Bristol. Going to get Jeff Burton the ball to the lead. Racing, I'm going to try to crowd him up the racetrack. Burton needs that lap. Oh, oh. All right. Oh, now we got a caution. It's a, it's a big mess. Just got in Burton. In the wall I went. I couldn't really try to get going. Got hit by Kenda, by Trevor Bain, by everyone and their mothers. Clint Boyer and Ricky Senhas Jr. are going to be on the front row for the restart. I'm going to restart 36. Why am I on the outside of these candy restarts? Anyways, Boyer leads him down to the restart zone. Green flag back into the air for the fourth time. Oh, and we got a crash already. Stewart and Landon Castle. Not even getting to the green. Stewart into the wall. Lady Castle got him. Wow. <laughs> if we keep going like this, we could see enough, just see some yellows just right on by. Ricky Senhouse Ricky Senhouse Jr. leads. Come to start finish line. We'll lap before halfway. 27 to go. Danica almost gets loose. Blaney gets up into Gordon. Now we got a little bit of a scramble as we make our way down the back stretch. Oh, oh god. Um, really, Danica? Caution is out. Bristol is unforgiving. Seems to be that way tonight. Senhouse and Bain are on the front row. Danica Patrick is nowhere to be found. Feminists don't get drunk yet. Into the research zone. Green flag back into the air again. Green flag into the air again. Looks like Stenhouse Lee has the lead. Oh, no, don't you dare, Newman. I see. Oh. Damn it. No, that's stupid. I want to freaking be up front and not in this crap. So we'll pretend this uh, yellow did not happen because Scott's beat the freaking retard. And out of four, Paul Menard is taking the lead. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Really? And they're crashing further up.
We got a caution. Our seventh caution is out. This is um, probably more caution than Vegas. Need to check Newman, Logano, and Castle. Twenty-one laps to go, and we get the restart. Regan Smith leads. Get down in the restart zone. Green flag in the air again. Look at that. Fly right. Oh god, our engine's smoking. Oh god. Our engine's smoking. Can we make it 21 laps? Our tires are fine. Our engine's currently 184. 20 laps to go. Oh, God. Oh, look, another caution. Robbie Gordon this time causes the caution. Just a single car incident. Kurt Busch and Jimmy Johnson are on the front row for the restart. Kurt Busch could get his second win of the season. There's the leader up there. Up in, up in the front. We flag back into the air. Oh, round goes Scott Speed. Caution flag is out. Ninth time. Swear to freaking God, this is the ninth caution in this race. Jimmy Johnson leads. Nine cautions. Heck, this next one's probably going to be ten. Dan Kirkpatrick is probably causing these. Said with every ounce of sarcasm I have. Green flag back into the air. On the outside, going to get by Kyle Busch. Same back to Mitch Murray. Bush into the wall. Round goes Casey Kane. Tenth caution. And we got a big mess on the front stretch in turn two. Junior wrecked further up. How many cars got in him? I think this is probably one of the, like, the Bristol August race. Or, or the intermediate races on NASCAR 14. A big wreck fest. So we got uh, 12 to go here. Johnson and Truex are on the front row. Johnson and Truex on the front row. 12 laps to go. How does it turn out? Okay, it looks like we're going to be clean. Can we just get a little bit of green flag racing? Little, just a little bit of green flag racing. Coming out of four. Johnson leads the lap. 11 to go. David Stremme in out of Inception Motorsports is up in seven. Danica Patrick was in six. Now she's in ninth. Feminists are probably jumping out of their seats right now. That Dan Kapowski is actually running good in a NASCAR video game race. And the 11th caution is out for Kyle Busch. Spinning. Newman, Ambrose, Logano, Martin. <laughs> this is like a real life Bristol. This is like Winston Cup real life with Bristol races. Johnson still. Jimmy Johnson still somehow is our race leader. Seven laps to go. Let's 
just gotta make it seven more laps. Wow, Burton almost cut us off right there. Go ahead and show this on the apron going out of turn uh, four. Oh, and Junior is able to save it. Good save for him. Johnson is able to clear the field, and here comes Truex. Six to go. Get to one. There's going to be five laps to go. Five to go. Through three. Three and four. Bush get Trek shoved out of the way. It's a battle between Johnson and Gordon, just like you answer. Three, three, and four. Four laps of racing. There are four laps of racing left. Coming to the line, there will be three as Jimmy Johnson leads. Johnson leads, Gordon is second, I'm second, can I get to him? I give him a shot, let him know I'm here. Oh, it's going to be a battle of aggression right here. Two to go, Crystal. This will be over in like maybe five minutes. Coming out of turn two, down the back stretch, Johnson throws the, the cross, look at that. He was pushing getting pushed a little bit. White flag at Bristol. Gordon, last time Gordon won Bristol was in August 2002. He'd love to change that tonight. Three, three, and four might not be enough. Johnson wins the night race at Bristol. Ace, despite me being a smoking wretch and 11 straight cautions, After 11 cautions, Jimmy Johnson survives and goes to victory lane. While I finish second, Junior finishes third, Jeff Burton fourth, David Reagan fifth. Keselowski sixth, Brian Newman seventh, Mark Martin eighth. And Trex Jr. your ninth. And Joy Logano tenth. I wonder if there are any cars that fell out of this race. Well, they surprised I didn't. Look at the points. Well, Jeff Gordon still has a 100-point lead, a little over a 100-point lead over Dale Earnhardt Jr., Greg Bethel is third, Kate Hurt Bush is fourth, Jimmy Johnson fifth, Ted Lasky sixth, Jeff Gordon seventh, Clint Boyer eighth, Kirk Jr. ninth, Matt Kenseth tenth, Kyle Bush eleventh, and Kevin Harvick twelfth. So right now, there are Edwards is seven points back from the second wild card spot. Hamlin is five points back from the cutoff. Newman is uh, 25 back. Stewart loses three points. He is he could very well be out unless one of these guys in front of him has an issue. The next race is going to be at Bristol um, Atlanta Motor Speedway. For race 25 and 36, two races left until the chase for the running of the um, Advocare 500. We will see you then.